three show. Okay, we don't want big butt all over the place, and that's all we're looking at. We're looking for balance, the whole package where every nothing stands out, everything is put together perfectly. <clears throat> okay, where width ratios, you know, the whole details, everything got to be balanced. Okay, so don't pick too small of a suit because it's only going to make your butt bigger. And we sit on the bottom, you know, of the stage. New York, the eye level is where your feet is. We're looking up at you like this, okay? <clears throat> and imagine that. Put a camera down there and shoot yourself upward. How big does your butt really look from that point of view, okay? So you got to really watch out, okay? Like, you know, how you present yourself with a small suit. Sometimes, if because like sometimes genetic where your hip bone may have changed after you have kids or maybe if you never had kids but maybe like you know it's just it's just natural a big hip person okay don't pick a small suit pick a suit that's suitable where it makes everything balanced with sometimes with more material actually it's better okay so be careful of that <clears throat> and then <clears throat> next thing it's uh, talking about mass on a bikini girl now you don't want to be too muscular okay <clears throat> and of course you cannot be scrawny like a stick okay because don't forget on stage everything changes under those lighting okay so mass got to be up to standard where it looks balanced it suits your frame whatever the genetic bone structure the frame your height okay along with your suit nothing looks like too long too short compressed or too wide Okay, you want to be very balanced, okay? <clears throat> and then, let's talk about um, conditioning, okay? Because you're bikini, of course, you're limited to how much condition, like, you know, you, you're allowed to produce. And in 2015, I find that girls are a little bit confused, of course. Like, you know, that's why I talk about right away comparing one show to another. You can't. You pick a standard. You know what it is. You know what we're looking for. You're not as lean as the next level, like, you know, where you're a figure girl. But you're absolutely not look like somebody who's still 8 weeks out or 10 weeks out or 16 weeks out. Okay? you got to be realistic. When you consult with somebody to see how far you are away from a show and stuff like that. We have many shows throughout the year. Don't rush. Wait till you're properly, like, you know, ready and present yourself on stage. You feel more comfortable, more proud, and built up your confidence. Okay, don't rush. Okay, there's plenty of shows. Okay, find consult with somebody <clears throat> who's been in the industry for a long time. Okay, and you know high level athletes, well known coaches, judges. Okay, not family member in a way. Why? Because if they don't know the sport. They're going to say, oh, you look the best. You're the bomb. Oh, you got to kill it. No, you're not killing it. You're going to get killed. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. When people say they're going to kill it, they're most likely going to get killed. You need somebody who's going to give you an honest opinion saying that, hey, you know what? Maybe another two weeks will definitely do you good. You actually will feel more appreciated. Okay? Because someone is telling you the truth and wants you to look your best. We want you to come out to look your best. That's why I'm telling you this right now. I want you to come out and be very presentable. I want you to be able to have good memories, good moments. To show to your family, show to your friends, show to other athletes. And be part of a good lineup where you battle so close together. Where you could be one or two points just away from each other. Okay, Now that's what makes a good show a good lineup. Not being... Oh, somebody beside you is dead on. The person left to you, just a lyric, a hair off. And you, eight weeks out, look like. Come on. Don't do this to yourself, okay? We all respect you. We all want you to look your best. We're also here to protect you, your image, everything. That's why I mentioned about being classy, the suit size, everything. Okay? We're here to protect you as well. We're not here to put you down, okay? But I'm being as honest as I can to tell you what we think to try to help you to get into the sport properly. Okay? <clears throat> now, so we talked about conditioning, like, you know, in terms of, let's talk about skin condition for conditioning, okay? No cellulite, back of the leg. No loose skin. No jiggly. 
okay? Belly button, okay? We can see the deeper the belly button. I'm sorry, you're holding fat. It's not water, okay? Your skin should be nicely wrapped around the shape of the muscles, okay? They form a very pleasant physique, okay? Of course, we're not asking you to be striated. We're not asking you to be extremely paper thin skin because then you're too close to being a fake or a fitness girl or even a, you know, a female physique girl, okay? Just to the limitation of what's allowable in this category, okay? In 2015, we've seen a lot of girls who's not ready and come into the show and they get disappointed, okay? But be truthful to yourself. How many weeks out do you really look like? Did you hit that on with the condition? Okay? It's a learning process. Don't get disappointed. Okay? We all make that mistake. We all rush into things. and But you need someone who's honest to you. And you got to be honest with yourself. Okay? On, most, on social media, I see a lot of girls taking pictures of the front, the front, the front, the best angle, the best lighting. <clears throat> okay? If you really want true progress picture, don't lie to yourself. Pick the brightest light. Pick the brightest, like, you know, like spot, natural lighting, however. Take a picture. From our judge's point of view, put it on the ground. Point it upward. Okay? That is the true view. What we see, how we judge, what we look at. Okay? When we see you, how's your skin condition? Do you see ripple on the back of your legs? Do you see ripple on your glutes? Do you see skin fold on the back of your suit like you know where like you know you're trying to curve it back and stick your bum out okay do you see a lot of that if you do don't lie to yourself you can't hide it under stage light i keep telling people we're 10 feet away approximately we see everything you can't hide it find out early get the help you need if you really need to okay get yourself into that proper conditioning the skin nicely tight no cellulite, no loose skin, okay? So, just bring it to the stage best you can, okay? We want you to show up your best, feeling good, knowing that you had a good battle, and you were just a hair off, or you might just, or you might want to show, okay? Because you have put your research in, and time, and practice, everything, okay? That's what the sport is all about, okay? <clears throat> now, um, let's talk about shape, okay? And cannot be scrawny, so they're not straight, okay? And that curvy stuff, throw it out the window, okay? It's not curve, okay? We need shape. Muscle insert to insert, nice form, nice exterior shape. Look at yourself like a silhouette, okay? How is your exterior shape? Because bikini girl, you're limited to how much definition you can produce in terms of thin skin condition and separation. So be very careful. In 2015, I see a lot of girls where they have no exterior shape. Either they're straight or they're just simply not tight enough, that conditioning. Okay? You got to have that balance. Have the sh exterior shape. You got to have the skin condition where it's tight, healthy looking. Okay? All right. <clears throat> now, stage presentation. Very important. Okay? Be sure to really really practice last minute stuff doesn't work off season just like any other category like i said you got to practice practice between sets practice at home you know whenever you can off season swing around put on some music go to posing classes you know hire some one-on-one -on -one session which is i find to be the most effective because you get the most attention and someone that can tailor you're proposing according to your physique. Not like, oh, okay, everybody does this. Everybody does that. You need somebody that can, are capable of running a small class or somebody who's capable of running one-on-one -on -one to really fix. Hmm, for you, your hips too is kind of big, so we need to twist your, your hip this way, get more flexibility. You should stand more straight. You should pivot your feet more. Everything matters how you pose. You can come with the greatest physique, but sometimes it's just that a little bit off that determines first place, second place, or you second, and, and third, <clears throat> don't know, okay? But, which is why, you gotta do your research, practice, practice, film yourself, okay? And, like I said, judges' point of view, eyes' point of view, okay, we look up. Film yourself from the rear. Stop trying to get yourself in a good angle, like, you know, just from the front.